Do you want to start us off? Sure. Just, you know, amazing atmosphere. I didn't know what to expect with the 1 o'clock match, but I thought the Louisville fans were awesome, and you could just feel the energy and just so impressed with this team. I've been impressed all year, but continue to be impressed just with our poise and mindset and confidence, and, you know, we it just never falters. So um, I think that goes a long ways this time of year, and it's something that we can always – hold on to and you know Florida is a storied program and you just never know how you're going to come out against a program like that and so it was awesome to see us be the first one to punch and we just never back down. Any questions? They have they ever put a radar gun on you? <laughs> no they have not. <laughs> I guess that that Uh, I just think it's all the work we put into this point. I mean, you're going to have to take some swings, but not all of it has to be 100%. So I've kind of realized to mix in some shots, but really just be aggressive when I can. When I see it, I'm going to go for it. It's so cool, just like Danny said. Like, we didn't really know what to expect with the 1 o'clock game. Just coming out there and seeing all these fans behind us cheering, it was just a cool experience. And you have that same feeling at LN Arena, too. And just to see all the people in the city that come and support us, it's just been awesome. I guess for any of you, how important was it to uh, answer that run they had in, in game two and, and you know, two nothing? Yeah, I think it was. Um, a big part of the fans and the atmosphere. I feel like when we were down, the fans got up and cheered and that really like hyped us up and turned us up to play. So I think um, we owe that to the fans when we were down the second set. Kind of uh, you think you're ready for a bigger stage as a program, maybe going back to the center or Oh, for, I mean, us, I mean, yes. It's going to be a, probably even more people here for Saturday's game just to have that atmosphere. So, I mean, we're always looking to bring in those fans. I think it's really cool to see how many people are coming to support. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I wouldn't say I don't think we're ready for full time um, to be in the yum. And, you know, we still want matches that don't have that big opponent name to be full and LNN is just so comfortable and it's very underrated in the recruiting process just how convenient it is. It's in the middle of campus. There's a bunch of food there. They can get treatment, locker room, team room. I mean, it's just a really convenient, comfortable facility. But yes, we've talked a lot with administration about moving matches down to the YUM and planning to do that next year, just deciding how many and, and when we can time it that we can draw, you know, five 5,000. That's what you'd want down at the YUM Center is 5,000 to make it feel feel like there's a big crowd there. This is for, for either player. Um, do you feel like um, the team's confidence has increased throughout the year? Is it higher now than it's ever been, been high all, all, all year? Um, I think it's been high this whole season, especially preseason when the freshmen came in. I feel like everyone was just really confident in each other, and we saw how much talent that we have, but also how hard we have to work just in general um, to compete. And we know every team's going to give their best with us and we just honor them on our our opponent and just I feel like that just carries into every game we play. Yeah, I mean, I just think from the start this team has been dialed in ever since day 1 and just seeing how we progressed all year and seeing all those tough times and when we have faced adversity, this team is relentless. I mean, we bounce back, we don't let anything get to us and when things aren't going our way, we are staying composed. So, it's really cool to see tonight and when they pushed us in that second set, we had all that trust in us. We look at each other in the eye and know we have no doubt. Kind of like after being always saying, all I do is win. It's on real, I feel like. What was the celebration left with White today? We were just, yeah, we were just saying we're really excited, but it's also that weird feeling where we're excited, but we aren't done yet, and we're going to go right back out here in 20 minutes and scout the next two teams, whoever we're going to play. So. I think it's a mix. We need to be proud that we have gotten to this point, but also know the work is not done yet. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, I feel like it's always great in the summer when we can have camps and connect with the players or the high school players. And I think that just plays a big part in our culture is connecting with the community. And um, I think that's also what makes Louisville fans so great. Yeah, I, we're really focused on what we're doing, and, you know, I think fans are still really proud to be here and proud to support us, and um, it's just great to be able to deliver um, when there's a lot of chaos going on. So I'm proud of our team staying focused, and um, I don't think that affects anything that we're planning to do the next couple of days, hopefully next weekend too. <laughs> Not, maybe. Oh, it means a lot. And I, reflecting back to when I got hired five years ago, we were just focusing on making it back to the Sweet 16 because it had been since 2005. So to be able to do that three times and now back-to-back -back Elite Eights, so you can really see the the culture shifting and you know our brand is getting more popular in the volleyball world and you know that's what we set out to do and you know Amaya was one of the first players we recruited when we got here and you know she really believed in the vision and it's just really special to be able to share that with some of those players that we recruited and um, that they get to be a part of this and it's a big deal. I don't think we have yeah. a preference. We'll I see how it say, goes. Yeah, e both teams are going to come out competing hard, and either way, we're going to have fun and play together. Familiarity yeah. um, It can be, but it's also hard to beat a team three times, so yeah. it'll be interesting. We'll yeah, see. they're, they're going to be hungry if, if we're going to play them. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.